Okay. Moving right along. That power cycle really gets your heart beating. Like, really, really beating. That's splendid, Clem. Splendid. Strong, you're in the way. Finally, Vault 88's work can truly begin. I thought that's what we were Some doing already, and oh my god, you're spindly. Happy to be here. I have those chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. vault scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people uh -huh. feel an irrational need to socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good with chemistry. What? With chemistry? Bad for you? Oh, Clem, you worry so much, my boy. Clem. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, right. That's. Very interesting, Lady <coughs> These are just special chemicals. <laughs> this should be fun. This should be fun. Now there's the Vault Tech spirit. So build the soda fountain and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem. If you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee, thanks. Now, it's time to build the Clemicals Dispensary. Right here. <coughs> Requires power. There we go. Select an experiment. Soda fountain experiment. Appetite suppressant, mood enhancer, generic caffeination. Notes from Dr. Brown. After the initial stockpile of food and drink are depleted, vault residents will become accustomed to anything new we give them. This gives us the intriguing possibility of adding chemical supplements to their diet with them being none the wiser. After much focus testing, we've settled on the soda fountain. The only limit here is our chemical ingenuity. Make Vault Tech proud. Huh. Give me a moment here. Never what experiment does she want to produce? Excuse me. The soda fountain shows enormous potential. Hang on. check the um, that bit data select experiment parameter it doesn't say what she wants strong I need to use that computer terminal yeah never mind I'll just wait for you to finish
Lem's soda fountain needs to be attended to. Okay, he's assigned to it. Excuse me, Strong. <coughs> see a mood enhancer yeah that seems why not lead notes for R&D hallucinogen provides us with a small sample of the final product and it is quite exciting they've made an extremely psychoactive compound that's soluble in water create short-term euphoria, and in some cases, mild hallucinations. Surprisingly, subjects suffered no withdrawal symptoms, though a substantial pre predilection to depression after the crash. In the first for our team, in a first for our team, absolutely no fatalities. The worst side effect is subject 13, who has been staring at his hand for 13 hours straight. Fascinating. Note, we are trying to do something about the color and the taste. Except parameters. I guess I'm open for business. Yay. Hey there. Never thought I'd have an honest to goodness job. All the soda you. The soda fountain's open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. I wonder what effect it'll have on her. Well, she stared at her hand for 13 hours straight. Ugh, so tastes... damn hungry. Maybe I'll get another drink. It tastes funny. <laughs> Make sure to come back. Well, she seems elevated in her mood. And that texture over there seems to be flipping out. Not a bad job manning the soda fountain. Let Clem serve soda for an hour. Yeah, let's see. What can I do while I wait? People, food, water, power, defense, beds, happiness. <coughs> yeah, I can just do it with some more defense. Right about there you go. There you go. Man, yeah, that's caved in. Ah, Clem's done already. Wonderful. <laughs> you 
Excuse me. Moving right along at a decently slow clip. Yes, Strong, you've been left behind. Coca-Cola, but the soda's free. Okay. You here to check up? I got a customer right here. You're back! Oh, yeah, this vault's amazing. <laughs> just great. Wow. Yeah, just great. It's so great, I don't even know what I'm saying. Neither do I. <laughs> They're drunk. Wonderful. <clears throat> to think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Ah, it fills me with pride. On to the next prototype. Ugh, the Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks. But that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors what are we trying to accomplish? put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. Ah, something about maintaining a balance should be sufficient here. I could see needing to strike a different balance here. Is that a twinge of misguided conscience? You should work on suppressing that. So, enter the Vault-Tec Foropter. A specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. But, potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But the results will be worth it. Nuclear material? I'm excited! I'm excited to be a part of this plan. You and me together. The world will quake at what we will accomplish. Hopefully, not literally. Don't fret about nuclear material. I wanted it to literally quake. <coughs> because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. <coughs> um, I've already done that. And next time, I will build it. Hey, thank you for watching. Hey, thank you ever so much more for watching all the way to the end. And I thank you even much more for supporting your favorite idiot, QED Me, on PayPal or Patreon. The link should be in, in the description somewhere. Until next time, bye.